Oh, that. Uh, oh god, Jan, that's really disgusting. Hi everyone! Didn't see you there, how you doing? How annoying is this space here, with nothing in it? If I just kind of... Yeah, now we're talking. Get a bit of chair in there. Bit of a mess behind me really, isn't it? it? Says a lot about me here. Mess. Look at all these books. Thanks so, Zolly. I'll maybe you read them one day. They're collecting a lot of dust at the moment. I'm joking, everyone. They're really good. Go and check them out. Um... What's going on everybody? Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Jack Maynard and I will be taking you on this wonderful journey through YouTube today. Maybe not wonderful or a journey, but you're watching it right now so just don't click off it. So I woke up this morning and I thought, do you know what? It's been a while since I've uh, spoken to you and had a bit of one-on-one -on -one time because, you know, I've been doing all these things, all these silly games, loads of my friends on my channel and stuff, but it's, it's been a while since it's just been me and you. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna answer your questions for you. Yeah, mm hmm So you tweeted me your questions, and I'm gonna be answering them. There's quite a few, there's a few weird ones. We like that. So it was time to do a bit of a Q&A and &A, just chat to you guys and talk about what's going on. So I've got a lot going on at the moment, a lot of fun things that are coming very soon, and I cannot wait for you all to see them. But uh, yeah, so I thought, I'd come in my office, chill out. This is me, this is me chilling out. This is my ch chill out, look. It's my chilled outlook. Whatever. See, I'm just chill. I'm so chill. I don't even know cameras there. So I'm so chill right now. So let's answer your questions. You did a lot of traveling last year. Where was your favorite holiday destination? Hmm. That's a tough one. Now, I did a lot of traveling for YouTube. I, I did a lot of traveling to film a lot of videos, do some really cool stuff like my vlogs and, and on this channel as well. I do have a second channel of vlogs. They're, they're great. You'll love them. Go check them out. But my, I'd have to say probably my favorite holiday destination last year and this was actually a holiday as well this wasn't for filming or anything like that it was probably um last year I went to Vegas it was my first time going to Vegas I went with it was myself Connor Mikey and Ant us four went to Vegas yes we did all the crazy things you can ever imagine that now nah, that sounds way worse actually no we didn't do the crazy things you can imagine but we we partied a bit we had a good time so yeah I'd probably say Vegas that was mental and I'm going back this year I'm literally going in like two months I'm so excited guys you have no idea mm, this one's a tough question I get asked this all the time what's your favorite color in the alphabet measured in kilometers per hour mmm Probably 34? Yeah, I'd probably say I'd probably say 34 for that one. But six, 68 on Sundays. What was your first thought when you woke up this morning? Good God, I'm tired. Let me sleep. If you could trade lives with one person for an entire day, who would it be? I'd probably say the Queen. Imagine being the Queen for a day, like, wow, I bet she gets looked after. You can do anything you want. You can literally do anything you want. And people would do it for you as well. She wouldn't even need to like get up and go and move and do anything. Everything just gets done. She just gets to sit there and chill like, what's up? I'm the queen. I know she doesn't really have long hair to flick, but um, yeah, pretty queeny. What is the worst pain you've ever felt emotionally and physically? Physically, I cracked my head open right down there, right on my forehead. I cracked it open. I was on a quad bike. I was going stupidly fast. I didn't have a helmet on. Good God, wear a helmet, everybody. And I was on like a road. I was on a street. So I wasn't like, you know, like off road and none of that kind of stuff. I was on a street. Yeah, I was going really fast, but the brake was in like a weird place. It was down by your feet. I don't know what that is. But where you put your feet, that was where the brake was. And I couldn't, I kept missing the brake. Like my foot was like too big or something. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so I missed it and I just went boom. Straight into some railings, and I smacked my head, and I was just like there. I was down and out. It was weird. I kind of wasn't the biggest pain in the world because I couldn't even like feel it because it was so like it went like so numb. But I just felt like blood pouring down my face, which is disgusting. And that's probably put a lovely um, picture in your head. But I don't know how. I can't even remember how old I was. It was like 11 or 12 or 13 or something. So yeah, that sucked. Emotionally, when I wake up hungover, go to the fridge and there's no food in it. Are you single? Ladies, please, one at a time. No, I can see her and say, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the market. <laughs> I'm, I'm painfully single, guys. I mean, this hurts every damn day. <laughs> Why? Doesn't anyone love me? Isn't there anyone who cares about Sid the Slough? Yes, I'm sing I'm single, that means. Why is Connor's nickname the Cheed? Good question. So, I've um, got two group chats. I've got my friends from back home in Brighton, and I've got the Buttercream Gang. And in both of those chats, Connor, my brother, his nickname is the Cheed. Everyone always asks, why the Cheed? What the hell does the Cheed mean? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's a funny story. So his nickname was Chief. And then, of course, 
Mikey went to write Chief and spelt it wrong and wrote Cheed, and it just stuck. That was it. It just stuck. So there we go. Connor's new name is the Cheed. Are baked beans good for me? I have an answer for that one. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. I don't eat beans that much, so I don't actually like them, but nutritional value, I'm not actually entirely sure. But the song says they're good for your heart, and, and that's an important organ in your body, so I'm gonna say yes, they are. Especially if you need a fart, eat loads of them. Have you watched 13 Reasons Why on Netflix? Yes, I have. I'm obsessed. And then listen to this. So there I was, watching 13 Reasons, I'm on episode six, it's getting really intense now. I don't know what's going on, well I do, but I'm emotional, and so many things are happening, and I go to watch the seventh one, like the next morning, and my Netflix doesn't work. I don't know why it keeps coming up with some error message saying there was something wrong with something, and there's nothing wrong with anything. I've tried to fix it, I've called them, they don't know what the hell's wrong with it. It's a lie, I haven't called them, but, it's broken and I don't know why, and I don't know how to fix it, and I need to rock some rest! I can't even speak! What do you love about the place you grew up in, and what do you hate about it? Now, I grew up in a place called Brighton, which is a great place, lovely place, by the sea. That's probably what I love about it most. I actually got to grow up by the beach, which is fun. Everyone likes that. So, like, in the summer, I would go down the beach, I have barbecues, go jet skiing with my dad and stuff like that, which is sick. Getting the seas from around like a little dolphin. Things I hate about it... The sea was freezing. The sea is freezing. The sea is so cold there, you don't even want to go in it, and it smells. Pretty sure it's not very clean. But I, I've had a great time, so that's, yeah. What's the worst food you've ever tasted? Now, this isn't really food, but recently Ollie made me a crayon. That sucked. Then he made me eat Play-Doh as well, which kind of sucked even more. And I really get stuck in your teeth. And I, I ate a yellow crayon. I look like a yellow crayon right now. <laughs> Have you ever had a near-death experience? Yes, I have. Oh, I cracked my head open. I had a few. Yeah, I was a bit of like a reckless child. I was the one who was always getting hurt. Like my parents always, always used to say I'm very like accident prone. I, I'd always get hurt and stuff like that. I, yeah, I was always the one getting hurt and like nearly dying. Big question time. When do we get to find out about the secret project? Now, many of you may know, myself and my brother have a secret project. Now, I can confirm that the secret project is now finished and complete and ready to give to you, but we are just finalizing a few things that, you know, just a few other things that come into play. A few other factors. We've given away some hints, like goat. What is goat? Who's a goat? Am I a goat? I don't, I don't know. Do I have a goat? Do, is there a goat in that drawer? No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, there's not. You will know very soon. I'm literally waiting to hear the date that you're all gonna get it, trust me. As soon as I know, you will know. But good God, guys, it's gonna be good. I'm so excited, you have no idea. God, I'm excited! Well, there we go, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. If there are any more questions, leave them down in the comments and maybe I'll get back to you in some years to come. Leave them down in the comments and I'll definitely get back to as many as you as I can. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. Go and check out my vlogging channel. I've got new mixes out down below. There we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. See ya!